Today, we are diving into another topic in the data fundamental series, operational versus analytical data. Have you ever wondered how data fuels both the day-to-day -day operations and strategic decisions of a business? Well, you are in the right place. By the end of this video, you will gain insights into the differences between operational and analytical data in terms of their what is operational and analytical data, what are their sources, their purpose, their characteristics, storage mechanisms and challenges. Without further ado, let's dive into the details. To begin with, what is operational data? As it sounds, it is the data that is produced by your organization's day-to-day -day operations. It captures transactions like daily sales, customer interactions, inventory movements and procurements. Think about when you bought a mobile phone, that transaction you made is like a record for the phone company showing their sale transaction. This kind of information is what we call operational data. Since it deals with day-to-day -day transactions and activities, operational data is also referred to as transactional data. Now let's understand what exactly analytical data is and how it differs from the day-to-day -day operations. Unlike the operational data, which captures regular business activities, analytical data goes beyond these individual transactions. It's about discovering patterns, trends, and meaningful insights within the accumulated data. What does the analytical data look like? Sales trends, customer segmentation, financial forecasting, website analytics, and social media engagement are to name a few examples. Imagine the company looking at the purchase history. By doing this, they learn about what customers like and how they choose products. This kind of information is what we call analytical data. With this clarification on what is operational and analytical data, let's understand where these data are sourced from. Operational data originates directly from the ongoing operations of a business. What are the ongoing operations? We discussed before. They include daily sales, customer interactions, inventory movements and procurement. These are the ongoing operations that we are talking about. On the other hand, analytical data is derived from operational data but transformed and aggregated to facilitate decision making. Talking about the purpose, do we need both operational and analytical data? Yes, we do. Why do we need both? How are their objectives different? Let's get to it. The main goal of operational data is to make sure everyday processes run smoothly and efficiently. It does this by supporting and streamlining the routine activities of an organization. How does it support and streamline? It monitors and controls daily operations, identifies bottlenecks, optimizes processes, and ensures efficient resource allocation. Analytical data, on the other hand, has a more strategic objective. Its purpose extends beyond the immediate needs of daily operations. The primary goal here is to derive valuable insights that can guide long-term strategic decisions and business planning. To keep it simple, operational data is like the engine running your car. It's an immediate need to keep things moving while analytical data is like your GPS. It guides you with insights based on the past data that help you plan the best route. So we need both operational and analytical data because one powers daily operations while the other shapes the future. 
Now that we have clarified their purposes, stay tuned as we explore the next nuance in the differences in terms of their characteristics. The granularity or level of detail of operational data is highly detailed. In contrast, analytical data is more aggregated and less granular. Regarding timeliness, operational data gives immediate insights by recording events as they happen. For example, in an e-commerce platform, it tracks every transaction in real time, like items added to a cart, user interaction through every click and every customer purchase. On the other hand, analytical data sets thrive on historical data, but not real time. Considering the analytical side of the same e-commerce scenario, it involves assessing overall sales trends for a specific product category over the past year. That's how analytical data aggregates information instead of delving into individual transactions to provide a broader perspective. Talking about freshness, operational data is typically fresh as it processes in real time. It represents the most recent state of events while analytical data may have a delay in its availability because it involves the processing of large data sets of historical data. Moving to the next characteristic, operational data is optimized for write intensive operations while analytical data is for read intensive operations. Why is operational write intensive? Let me explain. In operational settings, we discussed how crucial the immediate and accurate recording of transactions is. If you take a banking example, depositing or withdrawing money must be immediately reflected on your account. So these kinds of operations involve a high volume of write activities such as adding, updating or deleting records in real time. Hence, Operational databases are designed for write intensive operations, whereas analytical databases are designed to efficiently handle read intensive operations. Why is it read intensive? Because these operations involve querying and analyzing large volumes of data to derive further insights. Next up, operational databases prioritize data consistency and integrity as it is write intensive, favoring normalization. Analytical databases prioritize query performance and efficient data retrieval as it is read intensive, favoring denormalization. What is normalization and denormalization here? They are database design techniques. Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. It involves structuring tables and relationships to eliminate data anomalies and dependencies during write operations. Denormalization intentionally adds redundancy to data, aiming to enhance application performance and simplify query processing. Covering the differences in terms of characteristics, let's talk about the storage mechanisms of these data. Operational data is often stored in row-oriented structures, while analytical data utilizes columnar storage. Here are the reasons. Operational data is often stored in row-oriented structures because it is optimized for frequent writes, while analytical data uses columnar storage, which enhances query performance and supports the analysis of large data sets. See? You are repeatedly hearing the words like real-time, historical, read-intensive, and write-intensive. This is because all the characteristics are interconnected. That's why you are hearing the same things on different occasions. So far, we have covered the differences in terms of what these data are all about, sources, purpose, characteristics, and storage mechanisms. It's time to talk about the challenges now. For operational data, the main challenge is scalability. 
operational databases often deal with a high volume of transactions which can pose scalability challenges scaling to handle increasing transaction loads while maintaining performance is a constant consideration with operational data with the large transactional data volume not only the scalability but maintaining consistency and integrity can also be challenging besides these operational data processes in real time immediate updates and accurate recording of transactions are critical so this require robust systems to handle the high volume of write activities so these are the major challenges of operational data talking about the same for analytical data one of the challenge is storage and processing accumulating and managing large volumes of historical data for analysis presents a storage and processing challenge balancing the need for historical insights with performance considerations is crucial next one data integration analytical data faces challenges in integrating data from diverse sources aggregating data from various operational systems and ensuring consistency across data sets can be complex the other challenge is query performance analytical databases must optimize for efficient query performance as data sets grow executing complex queries for analysis may become resource intensive requiring optimizations these are all about the challenges of analytical data this wraps up our today's video on the differences between operational and analytical data understanding how to leverage both types of data is key to achieving a well-rounded and informed approach to business management in the next video let's see the use cases of both these data to understand its real world application thanks for your time and attention if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing and drop a comment below for any questions suggestions and thoughts as always your feedback matters see you in the next video